Hey folks, welcome to Flick Motion, your weekly destination for hand-picked movies and series recommendations. Choosing the best thriller movie on Max and Prime is not an easy task, considering the diverse range of options available, so here's our top picks. One film that immediately catches my eye is Inside on Prime. Directed by Vasily Katsopis and featuring the ever-talented Willem Dafoe, this film offers a gripping narrative that revolves around cunning art thief Nemo. The movie takes an unexpected turn when a heist gone wrong forces Nemo to seek refuge in a New York City penthouse. What follows is a harrowing tale of survival as Nemo contends with the penthouse's security system, leading to days of starvation and hallucinations. Willem Dafoe's stellar performance adds an extra layer of intensity to the film. As if it were on fire. I answered my sketchbook, my ACDC album, and my cat Groucho. I didn't mention my parents or my sister. Moving on to Max, The Menu is a film that takes a unique approach to the kill the rich subgenre. This darkly humorous thriller revolves around a group of wealthy diners paying exorbitant amounts to dine at Chef Slowick's restaurant on a private island. The film skillfully combines satire with suspense, and the stellar cast, including Ralph Fiennes, Anya Taylor Joy, and Nicholas Holt, elevates it to a must see thriller. Burning, available on Prime, takes us into the realm of psychological thrillers with its South Korean narrative crafted by Lee Chang Dong. The film follows Jong Soo, who becomes suspicious of his friend's mysterious acquaintance, leading to a gripping and suspenseful storyline. The movie stands out for its engrossing narrative and thematic depth, making it a compelling choice for those seeking a psychological thriller. On Prime, Joker emerges as a unique entry in the thriller genre, offering a dark and gritty character study inspired by Martin Scorsese's films. Joaquin Phoenix's portrayal of Arthur Fleck's descent into madness adds a realistic and intense dimension to the comic book movie. Shifting our focus to Max, Upgrade proves to be an original and thrilling experience. The film, despite my occasional distraction by Logan Marshall Green's resemblance to a budget Tom Hardy, delivers a captivating story. The protagonist's journey from a victim of a violent mugging to a seeker of vengeance through an artificial intelligence solution creates a unique blend that successfully upgrades the sci-fi thriller genre, offering a fresh and exhilarating take. Green Room, available on Max, takes a different route by subverting genre expectations. Directed by the creator of Blue Ruin, this intense film follows a punk band trapped in a skinhead club after witnessing something they shouldn't have. The brutal and intense narrative, coupled by Sir Patrick Stewart's sinister performance, makes this movie a standout thriller that keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. On Max, Monos presents a crazy adventure thriller nominated for the 2020 Oscars. The film explores the lives of a group of teenagers known as Monos, holding an American hostage in an isolated bunker. The dynamics among the teenagers, combined with the unexpected events triggered by the accidental death of a milk cow named Shakira, propel the narrative into a dark and despair-filled journey. Also on Max, A Most Violent Year unfolds as a slow-burning crime thriller starring Jessica Chastain and Oscar Isaac. Set in 1980s New York, the film follows Abel Morales, who owns a fuel distribution company facing violent and corrupt competitors. The temptation to resort to unlawful methods intensifies, especially with Chastain's character having ties to the mob. The film explores the unfolding temptation of corruption and becomes a riveting portrayal of moral dilemmas. On Prime, All the Old Knives enters the espionage thriller arena, offering a unique contribution to the genre. Starring Chris Pine and Thandwe Newton as CIA operatives and ex-lovers, the film follows their mission to uncover a mole within the organization's Vienna satellite location. The dynamic performances of Pine and Newton, coupled with a plot fueled by old haunts and new deceit. Let's not forget about Barbarian on Max. This horror movie stands out for its dedication to toying with audience expectations and its attention to setting. With jet black humor and manic energy, it explores themes of entitlement in a unique way. The film's blend of romanticism, ridiculousness, and madness are coupled with standout performances. Now let's shift our focus to Navalny on Max. This documentary offers incredible access to the life of Alexei Navalny, a multifaceted figure challenging a powerful regime. It's a riveting work of investigative journalism that humanizes its subject while highlighting the importance of activism. In our politically charged climate, this film is both relevant and eye-opening. The Courier on Prime is a tactful and rewarding espionage thriller based on a true story. 
Benedict Cumberbatch shines as Greyville Wynne, a British businessman tasked with negotiating with a Soviet spy to defuse international tensions during the Cuban Missile Crisis. The film skillfully navigates the complexities of espionage, with Cumberbatch delivering yet another engrossing leading man performance. Next up, Nope! Jordan Peele's latest offering, celebrated for its genre-blending mix of sci-fi, comedy, and horror. The film follows a pair of siblings who encounter what they believe to be a UFO above their horse ranch, setting off a series of unexpected events. Peele's knack for subverting horror tropes and building anticipation in unexpected ways makes this film a must-watch thriller on Amazon Prime Video. Trust me, you don't want to miss the exhilarating recommendations. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let's continue this thrilling movie journey together. Buckle up! Now let's discuss You Were Never Really Here on Prime. Joaquin Phoenix delivers a powerhouse performance as Joe, a brutalizer for hire with a troubled past. The movie takes us on a wild ride as Joe gets entangled in a political conspiracy while trying to rescue a senator's daughter. It's not for the faint of heart with its intense scenes and gripping storyline. If you can handle a bit of gore, this brilliantly directed character study is worth to watch. Joaquin Phoenix's portrayal adds another layer of intensity, making it a standout on Prime. Now, let's shift gears to Dr. Sleep on Max. Directed by the talented Mike Flanagan, it's a spooky remix of Stephen King's 2013 novel picking up the story after Stanley Kubrick's wild ride in The Shining back in 1980. Ewan McGregor takes the lead as Dan Torrance, a dude with some mind-reading skills and a bit of a booze issue. He's dealing with serious childhood baggage from the creepy Overlook Hotel. But wait, there's more! He joined with new characters Abra Stone and Billy Freeman, played by Rebecca Ferguson, Kylie Curran, and Cliff Curtis. They team up with Dan to take down the baddie Rose the Hat and her crew of followers. Next up, we have Nightcrawler on Max. This one takes a dive into the dark side of media ethics as Jake Gyllenhaal's character, Louis Bloom, goes to extreme lengths to capture sensationalist footage for late night news. The film is not just a thrilling ride, but also a thought-provoking exploration of our collective fascination with disturbing visuals. This film is a mirror to society's voyeuristic tendencies, and Gyllenhaal's performance is nothing short of mesmerizing. Now, let's talk about The Wall on Prime. This stripped-down thriller follows military sniper Shane Matthews and his spotter as they find themselves in a deadly trap set by a feared sniper. With only three major roles, the movie unfolds in real time building tension and showcasing the psychological warfare between the characters. <laughs> Shifting gears, let's discuss The Handmaiden on Prime. This South Korean erotic psychological thriller inspired by Sarah Waters' novel delivers a plot full of twists and turns. The story revolves around a con man's sinister plot to seduce a Japanese heiress, leading to unexpected developments. The film's unique blend of sensuality, suspense, and social commentary sets it apart as a must-watch. Moving on to Gone Girl on Max, directed by the master of thrillers David Fincher, this mind-bending movie follows the mysterious disappearance of Amy Dune. The film's non-linear narrative keeps you guessing, and Rosamund Pike's portrayal of Amy is chillingly brilliant. The movie is a gripping puzzle that unfolds in unexpected ways, solidifying Fincher's reputation as a thriller maestro. Now let's delve into Parasite on Max. Bong Joon-ho's masterpiece combines thriller, dark comedy, and social commentary as the Kim family infiltrates the household of an affluent family. The film's exploration of class division and societal tensions is both eye-opening and thought-provoking. It rightfully earns its place as the first non-English language film to win Best Picture at the Academy Awards. Switching gears to Suspiria, Luca Guadagnino's supernatural horror thriller is a visually stunning and suspenseful experience. Inspired by the 1977 film, it follows a young dancer who uncovers sinister witchcraft activities in a renowned dance studio in 1970s Berlin. While not as strong as the original, it still stands out as one of the best original horror movies on Prime Video. And let's not forget See How They Run on Max. This Agatha Christie mystery spoof dissects cozy mystery conventions with quirky British humor. It's a familiar yet enjoyable watch, inviting you to indulge in the pleasure of a classic whodunit. Now let's talk about 13 Lives. Directed by Ron Howard, this emotional thriller tells the real-life story of the Wild Boars, a Thai soccer team trapped in a cave. The film captures the harrowing rescue efforts and the race against time, delivering a gripping and intense experience. 
Howard's expertise in dramatizing real events shines through, making it a compelling film to watch on Prime. Heading back to Max, we have Shoplifters. This Palm d'Or winner explores the lives of a marginalized family involved in petty crimes. Hirokazu Korida's understated storytelling and social realism create a beautiful and mysterious portrait of a family on the fringes of Japanese society. The film is a poignant exploration of poverty and trauma that lingers in your mind. Lastly, we have The Art of Self-Defense on Max. If you enjoy weird movies, this one's for you. Jesse Eisenberg's character takes a surreal journey into self-defense classes after a violent attack. The film explores modern manhood in a strange and humorous way, with Eisenberg delivering a great performance as usual. You're a blade and I'm sharpening you. I see a little of myself in you. Is that you, Sasa? Why are you filming this? This isn't a safe place, Casey. Well, that's it for today. Don't miss out on the excitement. Hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and click the notification bell. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll catch you in the next video.